two asteroids passing near our Earth this weekend, NASA warns us of. This is on Sputnik News just now. These two celestial bodies will be closest to Earth Friday and Saturday, U.S. Eastern Daylight Time, U.S. Space Agency revealed. Two large chunks of space rock to be passing very close to Earth this weekend. Starting Friday night, the two asteroids are named 2010 C01 and 2000 QW7. They've been documented in NASA's database for two decades near the near at the under the Near Earth Object Observatory program. And the report says these asteroids have been well observed, one since 2000 and the other since 2010. Their orbits are very well known. This is what Lindsey Johnson, Planetary Defense Officer and Program Executive for Planetary Defense Coordination Office at NASA DC said. A massive asteroid almost two times the size of the Empire State Building on track to pass Earth today, September 14. NASA says, don't panic, it's expected to miss us by 3.3 million miles. Well, that doesn't say much to me because, you know, a couple of days ago, actually, it was, uh, the asteroid was passing beyond the moon, July 25th. But a couple of uh, days, just days ago, they told us that it careened and smashed into the Caribbean Sea by an effect called the Warkowski effect, Yarkovsky effect. They didn't expect it to careen into Earth, but it did. Instead of passing on the trajectory they thought it would have, passing safely beyond the moon into space, into oblivion. It came and hit us at the Caribbean Sea calling it the, the effect, the Yarkovsky effect. The sun's rays heat up the surface of the celestial body to the point where it causes it to have an uneven temperature and the difference in temperature causes the asteroid, the comet, the whatever, the meteor to tumble on its axis. And as it tumbles, it goes out of its trajectory as if it's been hit by something. It starts moving on its own. And that's when, I guess, the Earth's gravity just pulled it in and it fell into the Caribbean Sea. So, yeah, that happens. They see it, they see it traveling. It doesn't mean that it's going to stay the way they thought it would because of what happened with the Yarkovsky effect and the uh, latest asteroid that came at us, even though it wasn't supposed to. Anyway, they say here that the two are estimated to be 120 to 260 meters. It's about uh, a thousand, uh, the most a thousand feet across. And the other one is 2,290 to 650 meters, about uh, twice that many, about uh, 2,000 feet across in size. So they're pretty big. But thankfully, neither pose an impact danger, astronomers say. Under the Near Earth Object Observations Program, NASA astronomers keep track on the so-called Near Earth Objects, which uh, encompass any celestial body that they have found that orbits the Sun and flies within 30 million miles of Earth's orbit. No, it's not any. It's the big ones. The little ones they can't catch. They don't see. And actually, from one of my, my videos just a few videos ago, one of the uh, recent observations, new discoveries, the um, Oumuamua-like uh, interstellar object has actually been found by an amateur astronomer. An amateur astronomer. And NASA and other space agencies are asking for amateur astronomers to help them out by scanning the images that the space agencies will be giving volunteers to see what, cha what changes have been noticed in the image because those would be celestial bodies moving through space. And that can't be done by artificial intelligence. They don't know what they're looking The AI doesn't know what it's looking at and can't tell the difference, whereas the human eye can. So uh, this amateur astronomer found the interstellar uh, Oumuamua-like thing coming at us and um, It'll be coming into us for the next three months, so they have time 
this time to study it because last time it was going out and they didn't know where it came from because it was uh, they had very little time to examine the Umwamwa interstellar thing. Now this one is coming in. We, it's the second one in three years. What's happening? All of a sudden everything is coming towards Earth. That's very shocking for me. I'm sorry. I don't like that. Um, anyway, it's good that somebody found it. Uh, that's a fantastic hobby. Instead of uh, sitting playing video games, you know, you're actually saving the Earth by what you're doing. That's a fantastic hobby. Um, now the first, uh, I can't remember the, the man's name. They did, I have it in the video, you'll see. Now, the, uh, it says here, under the uh, Near-Earth Object Observation Program, NASA astronomers keep tabs on the so-called Near-Earth Objects, encompassing any celestial body. No, that's not the big ones. Okay, The first asteroid, 2010 C01, will make its closest approach 13th of December at night. The second one will be um, EDT 7.45 p.m., so that's not there yet today, September 14, according to NASA, and during their pass, they will be about 14 lunar distances from Earth, roughly 3.5 million miles away, so that's good. That's a safe distance away, hopefully. Johnson said both these asteroids are passing at about 14 lunar distances from Earth, or about 3.5 million miles away, but small asteroids pass by Earth this close all the time, he says. Now, um, I will make a separate video on the interstellar object that the uh, amateur astronomer um, Boris, Borisov, I think, the uh, Borisov, yes, the interstellar object on that from Space Weather. But uh, we've recently had, for, according to NASA All Sky Cameras, uh, scanning the skies above the United States for meteoric fireballs. It's an automated software maintained by NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office, calculating there the fireball's orbits, velocity, penetration depths into Earth's atmosphere, and other things. And these are daily results coming in on space weather. Yesterday, September 13, the network reported 23 fireballs. As you can see, they're all coming to Earth. Why is that? In the diagram of the inner solar system, all of the fireballs intersect at a single point, and that is Earth. That's a very strange thing. Why is that? The orbits are color-coded. The velocity from slow is red to fast, which is blue, as you can see. And then they have, I'll leave a link below, of course, a near-Earth asteroids listing. Potentially hazardous asteroids, PHAs, are space rocks larger than about 300 feet across that can come closer to Earth than uh, 0 0.05 AU. None of the known PHAs is on a collision course with our planet, although astronomers are finding new ones all the time. There's been an uptick today, September 14th. There were 2,015 potentially hazardous asteroids, as opposed to 1,800, 1,900 a couple of days ago. 2,015. Um, the um, next one, Okay, these redwood pink ones have already passed. Let's see. The next dangerous one is September 26th. It's asteroid 2017 KP27. It's um, lunar to 4.2 lunar distances away. And uh, velocity is 4.7 kilometers per second. Others are much faster than that. And the diameter is 25 meters, which is about 75, 80, 90 feet, somewhere like that, from what they estimate. I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.